Hello and welcome back to another video about my inventory system asset. Today I'm gonna show you how my inventory system uh, um, got changed by me with real time uh, changing so that you can uh, change the inventory at real time and see uh, the difference between some parameters directly. Um, I have s changed some other things um, in comparison to the uh, inventory system tutorial which I have made um, I guess two months ago uh, there is a lot there's there's a big different um, performance wise um, there are not so many game objects and uh, the algorithm or my code is uh, way much better um, I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna create this inventory um, I know this is um, created by hand, uh, everything later uh, getting created by just clicking and dragging how you like. Um, now we say that the slot size is 50 by 50 pixels, so uh, you see the, um, the slot size is getting cr um, changed, so how you like it. Um, I just do 50 by 50 now and when you say um, I want to have a 5 by 5 grid uh, it's getting created automatically and you can change this how you like so at the moment uh, there is a caveat 10 but you can change this later so it's only for me for testing and uh, the padding is um, in real time as well so when you want to have uh, 10 um, pixels between the slots uh, you can just change this and left side as well on the bottom and yeah right side as well um i'm gonna show you how the slot system is working um only in general not in in the code um you see um, these are the slots here which are in now and um they have no childs in it um uh, so that is the big difference between the inventory system tutorial which I've made and uh, uh, let me um, add an item just handily um, uh, when I start now um, I have already created the drag and drop system this is way much better as well um, when you see uh, I drop this on this um, um, in the inventory system tutorial um, the icon was on the bottom right side of the mouse, not on the mouse. Uh, now you can just drag and drop it on it. And uh, how you see the item is only um, the item and the item icon uh, with uh, some scripts for me. And how you see uh, when I drag and drop this, it's just getting created uh, or just the position um, is getting changed and uh, the the item. Um, itself uh, is getting a new parent and um, this means less game objects and less draw, draw calls so this is way much better <coughs> um, yeah this is what I've changed because um, actually that before wasn't that what uh, what I've liked I want to have uh, I wanted to have a real time um, creation system um, yeah I hope you like that um, if you have some questions or uh, just some advices for me what you want to have to in it uh, just uh, write this uh, this below um, what I want to do next is um, that you can just uh, go on the script and say I don't want to have an inventory uh, and a, sw uh, a swap system um, or drag and drop system in it so that you say uh, no I don't like it let's take it out the script and yeah it's okay and uh, then I go further to the item database. Uh, actually, I just uh, added the item handily in this um, yeah in this slot. Um, this is not how it works later. I want to uh, create an item database so that you just create something similar to this here. That you say yeah the name, the ID, uh, the stats, and just add and finished. And you you ca only can just add the item without any code. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Just write some po uh, some advices or everything else what you want to write um, under this video. See you. Bye bye.